You best believe that tweet in the thumbnail is real. Trantendo. What is going on guys? So I definitely wanted to do a video on this and I was planning on doing this a long time ago and that's what if I produce Exhortural Life Part 2 with TM88 and by surprise by everybody because everybody was surprised by this they dropped the Eternal A Take album on the new label which is Rock Nation so Lil Uzi Vert can drop music and everybody's very happy about it. My son told me about the record when it dropped and he loves that record. And shout out to TM88 because great minds take a like because they did an AP2 on there. And it was a interpolation of the original joint that they did the first time, which is the XR Tour Life song. And yeah, we all know the history behind that. And it's kind of great that P2 dropped and yeah, a lot of people enjoy that song. So with that, I want to do my rendition of it and I hope you guys will enjoy it because I enjoyed the Eternal Take album and I got some surprises in the future as well. Please believe it. So let's talk about the music theory of P2, AKA Extra Life Part 2. So the BPM is about 155 and I know a lot of people want me to cover some more of the music theory of other songs off of Eternal Take. I don't mind, I will. And I made this pack, honestly, I actually sent this pack to TM88 first. Uh, none of it made the album, obviously, but you know, never know what will come in the future here. Uh, I'll have that linked in the description box as I play some of the samples. But one sample, which sounds very familiar, you hear the pizzicatos, if you hear P2, you hear pizzicatos and bells and stuff like that. That will have that remnant of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that. Make sure that you're in song mode here. I'm gonna go ahead and go and use song mode. And next I'm gonna do is just, just drag and drop a lot of things. So, Cause I like to drag and drop. Like that's just the easiest thing to do. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna use the conventional sounds that you would use. Here, I'm gonna add my own flavor. So I'm gonna go ahead and just grab a sample here. Uh, so I have MIDI, hi-hat MIDI, because why draw on hi-hat MIDI when you can have this shit all together right now? So this will be my version of it. So now that we have that, got pattern one here, I'm gonna just go ahead and go on to the playlist. So y'all can hear the hi-hats when I drop that in there. That'll be really easy work. Go ahead and double that up. Boom. And next thing I'm gonna do, of course, is Add some claps. Make sure that you cut the sample so it doesn't overlap over anything. Um, probably gonna choose some different hi hats though. I don't like pan. I use uh, Bruce Lee here. Lay those claps here. Next, let's go ahead and get it. Thank you for subbing. Let's go ahead and get some 808s in here. Yeah, we're gonna go totally give it a new flavor. I don't, I don't wanna be exactly like that, but this is how I would kind of approach it. So the 808 pattern is gonna be really easy. If you wanna draw them in, you're one of the guys that like to draw in your uh, 808s or draw in your melodies. Uh, again, I always tell people about this, go into your piano roll, go into your drop down menu, and this works for FL Studio 12.3 or higher, and just go into your helpers, then go into your scale highlighting, then select a D major, and it's already a major right now, just right click on the D and it'll bring it up. I'm not gonna go ahead and draw them in, I'm gonna do it the way I like to do it, which is uh, play it on the keyboard. The keys I'm gonna use on the 808s is gonna be a B, uh, F sharp, G sharp, and a D. So let's go ahead and lay that down though. All 
All right, so I got Electrex open. I'm gonna go and grab something. And I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna grab. I'm just gonna go and uh, get some sounds here. Uh, something that I'll work with. It's something smooth. So I'm gonna go into my Slimy Air XP. this a lead into make this a lead here and of course you know my style I'm gonna go ahead and just make an apigio of some sort so I'm just gonna keep it very simple and just you know add one of my signature arps here let's go ahead and do that Go ahead and give this joint a spacey vibe here. So let me go ahead and record this part here. You can see my hands. I know people want to see hands, so let's go ahead and do that. Now we have that. I think I'll just go ahead and do one more sound. Find something that's kind of similar to the beginning of the song. And then I'll lay it out. So this is what I have so far, as far as the melody goes for the beginning. Hey. So I have the beat laid out, hope you enjoy.
So tell me how you feel about this cookup. I wanted to take it back to FL Studio. I know I'm a little rusty, and I, I definitely want to hear from you guys on how you feel about this record uh, that I did. I do like the original P2 record. I thought that, you know, the way that they approached that was a really good way to approach it so that it doesn't lose a whole bunch of its vibe. But at the same time, I want to add some more of the sci-fi type vibe to it as well. And other than that though, it's great to see that little Uzi Vert be recording more records because he's on a new label and you know I want to see more records with him and TM88 in the future like I definitely want to hear like like him and little Uzi just do one collective record together and uh, rumor alert uh, I'm pretty sure that's going to happen very soon.